Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you a previously unreleased breakdown of the Wild Rover, No Nay Never. This is one of my favorite Irish pub songs, and a super beginner-friendly song, seeing as you only need three chords to play through the entire tune. I'm gonna take you through the changes for the verse and the chorus, and I got all the chords available for you absolutely free at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. It's open to the public. Let's get started with a quick demonstration. I'll take you through the whole song. One, two, three, one, two, three. I've been a wild rover for many a year. And I spent all my money on whiskey and beer. But now I'm returning with gold in great store. I never will play the wild rover no more And it's no nay never No nay never no more I will play the wild rover No never no more I went to the alehouse I used to frequent And I told the landlady me money was spent I asked her for credit, she answered me nay Such a custom as yours I could have any day And it's no nay never No nay never no more Play the wild rover, no, never, no more. So I took from my pocket ten sovereigns bright, and the landlady's eyes opened wide with delight. She said, I have whiskey and wines of the best And the words that I told you were only in jest And it's no nay never No nay never no more I will play the wild rover No never no more Home to my parents, confess what I done, and I asked them to pardon their prodigal son. And when they've caressed me as oft times before, no, I never will pay to our no more, and it's no nay never. No nay never, no more. I will play the wild rover. No never, no more, and it's no nay never. No nay never, no more. I will play. Okay, a close look at the fretboard. We're in standard tuning, and we're getting started covering our verse. Here we're gonna have a one, four, five progression in the key of G. That means that if you were to look at your G major scale, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G, you would find that the first, fourth, and fifth notes were G, C, and D. That tells a musician that the G major chord, C major chord, and D major chord, or in this case, D dominant seven, are chords that sound great together. Okay, so starting off with that G major chord, we're gonna have a waltz time strumming pattern. Uh, it's three, four time. 
and also a walk up to your C major chord. It's gonna sound like this. Just like that. Okay, so that technique, we have the G major chord and we're basically plucking the low string or striking the low strings like a E and A string, then down up, down up on the G, B, and high E string. You run through that twice, then walk up to the C chord in the major scale. G, open A string, B note, which is second fret A string, and then once you get to the C note, we're gonna do the strumming pattern on C major uh, four times, or for four measures. This is an excellent exercise to build your picking accuracy. Okay, so so far you have G major. Walk. There we had it, we had the C major chord four times. All right, then we're gonna have the next line. I spent all my money on whiskey and beer. That's going to be the same strumming pattern split between each of the chords in our progression, then return into the G chord, like this. See how we're working that pick? Then back to the G chord. And I spent all my money on whiskey and beer. All right, once you get back to that G chord, you'll hold that out for four measures as well. Then it starts over again. You're gonna repeat exactly what you played to finish up the verse, all right? So it's gonna be that sequence two times through. All right, so going on to the second half of the verse, we'd have, but now I'm returning with gold in great store. So that walk up uh, lines up with the vocal line, the C major chord. and then you continue on to that G major chord, but we're gonna shorten it up and go right into the chorus. So it'll be, I never will play the wild rover no more. And it's just one time on the G chord. No, nay, never. We get into the D7 chord, ushers us into the chorus. Okay, with your verse complete, you're ready for the last section, your chorus. You're gonna start off with the D7 chord. And it's gonna sound like this. And it's no, nay, never. One, two, three, G. No, nay, never, no more. I will play the Wild Rover. No, never, no more. Okay, so that D7 chord came in. We'll have three measures. One, two and three and striking the D string. Then I'm gonna stomp. One, two, three, nice staccato strums. The G major comes in. One, two and three and. And I'll walk up to the C chord just like that. And it's no, nay, never. Stomp. G, never, no. C major chord comes in. Uh, measures there, then we're back to the G chord for two. Play the wild C major chord for two. The D7 chord for two. Never, no more. And I hold that G chord out for four measures before getting into the next verse. All right, so this is a pretty simple song. You're just going verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, double chorus, and I like to end with a little bit of a retardando. So as I repeat that uh, end of the last chorus, I might play it more like, uh, I will play the wild rover, no, never, no more. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on the wild rover. I hope you enjoyed it and that you'll be bringing it to a pub near you. Real quick, I wanna thank my Patreon supporters for making these lessons possible. Some of your names will be featured in the closing credits of this video. I got plenty more coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.